Back on the wagon. Been a couple of years. Better get cracking. Right fender. Not available. Gotta rebuild it. Somebody already did a gash hand patch there. And there too. The wheel well on the top here is it's all Bondo. The inner fender well. I can fix that. Uh, looking down here. Well, can't, I don't have my flashlight with me, but it's wavy. You can see that this is all filler here. It's all got to get stripped down, see what we're dealing with. See how far I got to put new metal in there, see how far up. Well, yeah, two, three inches maybe. Maybe get by with two. Coming up here. And he's got a, just a cheap trim here, glue on. It's gonna fall over here. Yep, it's gonna go. Okay, let's get that on the bench. Strip her down. And here we have the left side vendor. Yeah, that's better. You can see what's going on now. Oh, he's got screws coming through. <laughs> Two screws. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Looks like screws from here. Probably not. Let's have a feel here. No, it's not screws. Yeah, a little worse than the right side. Not too bad, not too bad. Strip her down. So he's had, he's got metal overlapping. I'll be down to here. Uh, <laughs> and then we will have some sort of a support down here. And I got no remnants to go by. To be a, a fastener here. It's, a, it's like eighteen gauge. Yeah. Okay, well, do what I can do there. Oh. 
She's all filler. I'm gonna bother hogging anything out there. That's all coming off. Okay. Big warp here. More down here. As you can see it. Right there, there's a bump. Yeah, so this is all buggered up. It's been a, it's had a crease or something, so he's tried to pull it out. Right up underneath with the hood, the hood flange here. Um, it's just a, it's a thicker gauge, so this will be for the hinges. I think I'd like to remove this. Probably some rust up in behind here. Pinch seam here for the overlap. And pop those pop spot welds out. Back down in the shop. I got my sandblasting booth all done now. Inline fan. 12 inch ducting. Goes up in there. It's got a little cant on there, a little 45 deflector for the sand not to go up. It goes up there. Hole at the top and it comes back down there and goes out. And that'll trap some of the sand. And then, um, actually, this is for the sandblasting. The big honker. <sighs> Keep the environment in here nice and clean. Anyway, curtain that comes down here. take up here and then there'll be little gaps in the curtain for the air to get in and happy camper okay and then I keep my shop relatively clean start it into the fender here and push the patch on there and down here, new bottom on this bracket. Uh, the top, I've already done that and primed it up. Now I gotta get into this fender well here. This has been patched before. Yeah, it's a little too pitted there for you know trying to trying to get it with the um, the uh, forget what you call those now stripping desks 
and uh, oh, those are finer. And the wire wheels. Get the big six inch one. It just speeds it up. Yeah, okay. Well, there's my new setup. There's my welder. It's 1977. Got that new. And it finally packed it in there. I've been working to fix that. So I got that up and going again. New regulator. And then my sandblaster packed it in. And they don't make replacements parts for this Sonoma. So I had to weld on a new spout there. A new uh, ball valve it was wearing out. Got that going. New hose. 5 8 heater hose. And it's got the steel cord in it. Now what I do is I just fold it over. I just fold it over and then that's, that's my on off. Because the ball valve, they wear out so fast. But this one's got the steel in it and it's hard to pinch it. So I'm going to have to break it in. Or just turn it on really quick and grab the hose. Okay, so... My booth is all done to where I wanted to get it. For the small parts. And grab them with the gloves. Get the, oh, I got my watch on. It's hard when I got my watch on. Okay, I'm gonna fire it up. And the dust goes in the back for us there. Back for you won't bother anybody. Okay, let's fire it up. Okay, there you go. And I got a few layers of plastic here. I can peel them off as they get cloudy. that lines up with the door. I can always do a zip cut there and shrink it and re-weld it, make it work out. 
This side's okay now. This side has to work out. Ooh, and the bumpers. The bumpers right here. It kind of hides the seam more so if, if, if I'm out. I'm going to cut a fastener. Somewhere down there, I just left it long. I'll have to mount it on the car and, and see where everything goes. Be down here on this pad down here. So. Uh, I'll have to check that out. Okay, I think that's close enough. This is all getting replaced here. So I didn't bother finishing that up. Let's see if I can still adjust the... It's open here too, so I can tuck it in if I want or stretch it out. Okay, be happy with that. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky here. And I'm pretty sure this line here, top of the wheel well, is pretty horizontal. It, it doesn't progress into a, an arch. I need to look at more pictures. Yeah, the left fender has has something to go by. Yeah, that's, that's almost half an inch. Proud. In the middle of the arch. Oh, I got something to go by on that one. Okay, well, I think we'll call it a, a video and go on to part two, which will be these uh, wheel well openings. Okay, for now, I'll get ready for that and upload this video. So, until then, see you later.